I got a question for y'all. Why is it that it's not mandatory to learn the law in school? If this is something that dictates our presence in America. Today y'all we finna be talk- Hold on. I gotta close the blinds cause they ain't gonna like this. Today we're gonna talk about the dark history of law. This particular situation I'm gonna go over about Emmett Till is going to explain why black people don't respect the law. To not get banned or CBG, this video is strictly for educational purposes. This is the story of a little boy who had a stuttering problem who visited his great uncle's house. He ends up getting abducted from his home. Killed, mutilated, his eyes were gouged out, shot, and he was 14 years old. All because this woman said that he whistled at her. Now, these demons who killed him, they did not go to jail and they were convicted not guilty. We got 50 plus years going by. She ends up saying, oh, he didn't whistle at me. I lied. Now, when we try to bring this case back, the grand jury declines to indict her, right? But this little boy died. She is still alive, but she's not in jail now. now let me ask y'all, why do y'all think Karens exist? And yes, they were existing back then, putting false accusations on black people. They know that these laws are made against us. That's why they use it to apprehend us. They made laws to catch runaway slaves. They made laws to say that we cannot vote. We have to take literacy tests. We can't live in specific places. They have upgraded and created these amendments to seem ethical. But the same situations keep happening. These laws and the original constitution and everything that plays a part with that was never meant for us. Therefore, it can never work for people of color. Black Panther activist Angela Davis was wrongfully convicted of murder and the FBI was looking for her. Like I said, creating laws so they can take you. She ends up beating the case. Before the FBI to even accuse these things of her and legally try to kidnap her, that shows that they can do whatever they want. It's the same thing with Asada Shakur. Now let's just listen to her words. The FBI, with the help of local police agencies, systematically fed false accusations and fake news articles to the press, accusing me and other activists of crimes we did not commit. This happened 20 plus 30 years ago and they still want her head. National and local police agencies created a situation where based on their false accusations against me, any police officer could shoot me on sight. Now the things that are done to our people in the name of the law, being shot 60 times unarmed, and this is all the law has to say. Or why officers initially deployed non-lethal tasers. I don't know. I'm not going to respond to that because it would be speculation. A police chief saying he doesn't know why. That's all the answers we get according to the law. A program that was set up by the Federal Bureau of Investigation to eliminate all political opposition to the U.S. government's policies to destroy the black liberation movement in the United States. And that is the dark history of law.